How many dental fillings do you have? A new study suggests the fewer the better, but it has nothing to do with your oral hygiene. It's about how much mercury is in your blood. Most dental fillings are made of amalgam, which is a mixture of mercury, silver, tin, and copper. For years, researchers warned amalgam could increase mercury levels in the blood, but no studies were robust enough for experts to know for sure, until now. A new study from the University of Georgia reports mercury levels in 14,703 Americans. The researchers discovered people with more than eight amalgam fillings had over twice as much mercury in their blood compared to people with no fillings. Researchers controlled for age, ethnicity, gender, smoking, and seafood to make sure the majority of mercury was from the fillings and not another source. However, the levels are still within the limit that the EPA and WHO consider safe, which according to the American Dental Association, means no conclusions about the safety of dental amalgam should be drawn from this study. Still, one researcher from the study says people should be careful if you have other exposures, like if you eat fish every day. Those amounts can add up in the body. If the body absorbs too much mercury, it can damage your brain, heart, immune system, kidneys, and lungs. There are alternatives to amalgam fillings, but they're more expensive and may not last as long. Consult with a dentist before making any changes to your teeth.